They did tie-dyed bandanas with natural food coloring, natural food dyes made from vegetables. This is spinach juice. It's vegetables have been a long history as far as getting color and things. Colors come from a lot of different places. And then they did uh, red dirt shirts using Oklahoma red soil clay. Bring it part way out. We had to purchase muslin and um, wash it, had to wash it in vinegar uh, because it had to be an acidic base. And then I bought spinach, leaf, and cabbage, red cabbage, and cooked those down. So we got condensed color. Then we had them take rubber bands and tie-dye them so that when we would dip them into the juice, they will have a, a tie-dye when it comes out. And we're gonna let that set overnight and look at it in the morning. The younger children are transitional first grade children, so when you partner them up with an older student, they're able to help one another. It helps the older student um, learn to work with someone and use the vocabulary to explain something that looks so simple to them, but try to explain it to someone else. We've done a lot of that together throughout the years, Miss Lester and I, and I think it's good because it gets the fifth grade a chance to be a teacher and realize how hard sometimes it is to explain things to them to help them understand. Plus, it's also a good, you know, little kids look up to the big kids and it's the time for them to show responsibility and do their thing. For the red dirt shirts, it was an ending activity for their Oklahoma unit of study where they had studied about the land run and also studied about the dust bowl. And just reminding them of the dirt being oxidized and having a lot of the minerals in there that consider it to be red and why it's red here but you go other places it might be more of a, a black color and just different things and it kind of gets them to thinking that even though there's dirt everywhere there's a lot of differences in it.